repairing a 2 inch scale foul attraction engine, this one is part 5, completing the injector water valve job and making the handle and support. In the previous episode I showed how I fitted a commercial water valve, now I'm removing it because I need to do some work on it to make it accept the handle. When you buy these water valves they are complete with a handle, but in this case the handle shaft was too short. And also I have to fit the shaft into the top part of the valve. I filed a flat on one side of the top part of the valve and now using my small Proxon mini drill I'm drilling a hole as shown in the video. I'm drilling this hole through one side only. And now using the same drill bit which is actually tapping size for 6BA I'm making a mark on the stainless steel shaft. Once I'd made the mark I removed the shaft took it over to the large drilling machine and drilled a hole all the way through and in this clip I'm threading the hole 6BA and now I'm screwing in a 6BA brass bolt. Then I unscrewed the 6BA bolt to remove the handle because I cannot fit the valve with this in place. At the moment the handle is just a long piece of 3 16ths of an inch diameter stainless steel. Now I need to make a crossbar for the handle. What you're about to see is how not to do it. With a piece of 3 16ths of an inch diameter stainless steel, which I cut off the main rod, it's in the chuck of my Myford ML7 and I need to turn this down to make a suitable cross handle to fit in the hole in the main shaft. Traditionally, the handle of a water valve for an injector goes all the way through the main shaft. The problem is, the part that I need to turn down needs to be a lot longer than you see here, so I pulled it out from the chuck and I'm trying to show why you shouldn't do this. This is only 3 16ths of an inch in diameter and what happens is, near the end, furthest from the chuck, it's just pushing away from the tool. And as I further reduce the diameter, the pushing away from the tool gets even worse. Believe it or not though, sometimes this can work to your advantage. If you want to make a tapered handle for instance, you can do it like this. The further that the tool gets towards the chuck, the deeper it cuts. So what you end up with is a slightly tapered piece of metal, which I really don't want. Really it would be a good idea to turn this part between centres, or use a travelling steady mounted on the cross slide. There is another disadvantage of making things this way, you generally do not get a good finish until the tool gets closer to the chuck. Starting with a small file that must be fitted with a handle by the way, health and safety etc, I get a better finish on the work. And finally an even better finish using a piece of wet or dry sandpaper, this is 400 grit. The camera's wobbling about a bit at the moment because it's resting against the bench where the Myford is sat. In the end I did not use the piece of steel that I turned in the lathe as I've just shown. I only included that sequence just to show you how not to do it. The piece of steel you see on screen is one from my box of small pieces of steel. And it's a perfect fit in the hole in the main shaft. I cut it to the right length and cleaned up the ends. And now with some Loctite 603 retaining compound, I'm going to fit the small piece of steel into the main shaft. The problem is, I do not want it to look like this. Traditionally, these water valve crossbars are fitted not exactly in the middle. I have a crossbar that came with this valve, but it's too short, that's why I had to make a new one. Using a very conveniently placed hole in my workbench, I tap the piece of steel through the main shaft. Now all I have to do is put it together. It's never a good idea to have a long handle sticking out of a water valve, it needs a support at the top. Here's the existing support that's not in the right place now, I need one with a hole one inch from the side of the traction engine. In this part of the clip I'm removing the old support for the previous handle. I made a new support using a piece of square brass, this was a very simple part to make and I didn't need to cover it in the video. All I needed to do was drill a hole in the piece of brass bar to support the handle at one end and a hole in the end of the brass bar which I threaded 5BA to bolt it to the side. 
The final job is to fit a brass 6BA bolt into the bottom part. Should this water valve ever wear out, it's a really simple job to fit another one as it's a commercial item. But over the years I've used a lot of these valves and none of them have ever worn out and they've always worked perfectly. This is the final part of the video. I'm just dropping the injector into some acid. I don't know whether it works but I'd like to give it a fighting chance by descaling it first. The next part of the job is the most comprehensive. Getting rid of all of the slop in the crosshead mechanism which should improve the mechanical aspect of this engine considerably. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.